Hey there. This is the first YouTube video I've ever made. And the reason that I decided to make it was um, I was looking for a, uh, a Telecaster style guitar, uh, relatively inexpensive just to have in my home studio. And I came across this uh, Hammer Slammer series. And there really wasn't a lot of uh, info on it on YouTube. So I decided to make this so uh, potential buyers of a guitar like this in the future could have uh, a, a review, uh, uh, straightforward and, and uh, honest. Uh, I guess there's a couple of series. There is a Slammer Hammer series, which I guess is not the same in my research. So I'm specifically talking about Hammer in the block letters with Slammer series underneath it. It's an early 90s model made in Korea. It's uh, completely stock except for uh, CTS audio taper pots, uh, Switchcraft switch four position, which is non-standard, um, and I'll explain that in a little bit. And uh, I think the previous owner put a Switchcraft uh, jack in it. So I picked it up for a couple of hundred bucks. Uh, I did a setup on it, which it desperately needed. I put on some uh, uh, DR Blues, Pure Blues 1046s, and uh, I kind of like it. Uh, well, let's start with uh, clean sounds. This is the Tele. You know, it's got that pointy, you know, Tele bite to it. So uh, I'll play a little for you. Hopefully, I don't swallow my pick. sound. Um, I love it. Uh, I originally bought this thinking I was going to have to swap out the pickups if this was really going to be a modding platform, but after playing this for a couple of days now, uh, it's really grown on me. Alright, so let's go to the uh, uh, two pickups uh, in uh, parallel. It's uh, very sweet sounding. Just the uh, the neck pickup. You can see it's uh, a little uh, fuller. Uh, I probably have it too far away from the strings. I uh, I did the I set it up to Fender specs, but I think I'm going to have to uh, raise this up a little bit. But anyway. position here, which is the fourth position, non-standard, uh, but you'll probably get the wiring diagram online. It actually has the pickups in series, so it's humbucker-ish, I guess. It definitely provides quite a bit more girth. I like it. Alright, so let's see how it does with uh, a little overdrive. By the way, I'm playing, uh, recording through a Vox Tone Lab uh, LE, I think it is. I created this patch to simulate a super reverb. Alright, and I'll put on a little distortion. And for the overdrive, I'm going to uh, play some slide. This is a standard issue Dunlop uh, glass slide. So again, we'll start on the bridge position. <laughs> two together. And just the neck up, uh, neck pick up alone. So, 
that sounds nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with it. And then the humbucker-like sound. I think it sounds pretty nice. Uh, I, I don't know how it's going to come through. I'm recording on a, an old Nikon Coolpix camera. It's really all I had, except for using my iPhone. and uh, I, I figured I'd use this instead. So anyway, that's my review of the Hammer Slammer Series Telecaster Korean model, which I think is called the T5M. The U.S. model, I think, was T51, which is supposed to be even better, but, you know, this is a really nice guitar, and if you buy it, you won't be disappointed. I know that I'm not. Uh, I'm not disappointed at all. All right, thanks for watching.